Hi. At the before class, uh, we did this uh, the finished uh, run cycle animation. Okay. So suppose uh, let us check this. So control enter. Okay. So this is uh, the beautiful the run uh, final animation. This is a run cycle actually. Okay. So this run cycle because uh, on the same like treadmill on treadmill how we walk and run okay so actually uh, on treadmill we cannot run but we run on the same spot on the same area we run continuously in a cycle okay so we it creates the moment of uh, actual running the same way here uh, we did this run cycle or uh, stationary uh, run on this we can pass the background in opposite direction so it creates the uh, the feeling of uh, running ourselves here running on the background okay but sometimes we use mm, progressive uh, runs progressive runs means here instead of run cycle we have to uh, run one point to other point suppose on a lengthy background an horizontal uh, lengthy background character sometimes as per the story itself it has to uh, run in a progressive way progressive means step by step continuously uh, the character itself it can run from one place to another place instead of uh, stationary or run cycle so how to do that okay suppose already we did this run cycle by using this uh, run cycle we can create progressive work okay so let us check how to do that yeah this is our control x run so here what we are planning suppose these all frames from here to here these all frames a pressing shaped you can select all these uh, run frames and right click okay and cut frames okay you cut all the run poses and from the timeline from the menu bar above the timeline there is a menu bar from that press on the insert <coughs> button then you can create new symbol okay and here create a movie clip okay and give the name run animation okay after giving that say okay then the empty um, timeline at first frame okay click that and already you cut there here the right click and paste frames see your cut frames you pasted here okay so this is your uh, symbol editing mode you are at symbol editing mode you have to come from the symbol editing mode so for that what you do there is a arrow mark here if you find here there is a arrow mark okay so click on that you are coming back to your actual the drawings cut drawings are there so because you cut all the drawings you can delete these frames because these are already cut and empty nothing is there just you can delete this gun again here you can create frame and a new layer and give the name a run run that's it a run okay 
and here we want only one frame at least required so remove all the frames at one empty frame you created a new layer called run and empty frame from library you find your run animation you convert into movie clip and drag onto the stays okay drag onto the stays keep this here <coughs> okay just you can remove these extra frames remove now make control enter your run is still there because somewhere here the color gone and particularly the tile area let us check what happened to that somewhere here so if you want to give the correction so what we do a uh, double click on that okay double click on that and find that where it is broken color yes in this frame that to add uh, the tail ponytail so let us check that ponytail unlock that button and come here okay and take the color suppose from back with the eyedropper take this color and come here with K click this but uh, your head you can unlock this and come here white is not filling color suppose the broken line may happen sometimes but it is very hard to find sometimes ok so let us try to fill this color here no it is not filling it is not getting that something happened is not connected I think Yes, it is filled and now take this color and come here you can fill this yes now it is okay now check any other uh, the mods 
yes this is okay now control s let us check control enter yes this is nice <coughs> now this is uh, a run cycle only okay now come from the uh, symbol lighting mode and here this is the movie clip symbol one symbol so what i'm doing suppose this you can place this uh, suppose if you don't want you can remove these guides unlock guides and you can remove them not required now okay now this you can select and press shift and <coughs> press the left arrow okay it is coming from outside at the first point and somewhere uh, at 125 frames at 120 frames for the 5 uh, seconds give in set keyframe okay then uh, press shift and give the uh, for the other side this is other side now you can extend these uh, frames up to here how to extend that pressing shift a right click and insert frame okay now you have two main key frames of the movie clip one the other side of the the left side of the stays the second one right side of the stays between these two anywhere on the uh, timeline create classic twin so your classic twin is added now let us check control enter so what will happen yes cool see is nicely running see with a simple run cycle we made we convert it into progressive run the cool you can experiment now suppose she is running 5 seconds she is taking 5 seconds now you can move this to 4 second you have to experiment then we'll understand Four seconds. Then you can control enter. This is nice, more nice. This is really good. but uh at five frames i mean in five seconds it looks more good so what i'm doing control z and make it control z and now control enter and see that yeah casually she is Five seconds. Within five seconds, she is going and coming. I think in uh, four seconds, 
it is looking good anyway I am keeping this in 5 second only right so 5 second but here because uh, because of this loop animation continuously immediately it is coming again and again again and again uh, without taking any breath and uh, so I am allowing the same animation up to one more second after reaching after reaching this place the character will take one more second hold so inset keyframe so that means what after delaying one second she will enter into the stage now check this she is delaying now ok so but uh, I want to take this in uh, 4 uh, seconds only because in 4 seconds it is really look like a, a run yeah 4 seconds <coughs> And now uh, control S and control enter yeah this is nice so look like a real run she she's running from uh, one side to another side and she is entering after delaying every one second see uh, the hair uh, follow through and overlapping action at the chest area also if you find that that bounciness is happening nicely so now uh, what about the shadows because the character is forwarding with the run so don't forget about the ground shadows okay let us check so <coughs> how to do that so control as this okay now <coughs> come to this the first frame here you can uh, duplicate this layer duplicate this layer this duplicated layer place down and here rename this as run shade run sh h a d a run shade right now what you do press Q here you get the transform point so make down this and you can get down this <coughs> okay so this is your shadow here what you do can change this color make the brightness black okay <coughs> and from filters apply the blurness so that the real look like real shadow and suppose here I am typing, typing 15 instead of low high ok right so control S and the other end <coughs> what about the other end other end copy this frame copy this frame ok and here this area means here 
paste frame okay you pasted that frame here but your shadow is at the first frame so get that shadow here get that shadow here right right now if you see this your shadow is following your this thing okay and this copy and paste it here paste let us check uh, pressing control s and control enter check this what is happening okay but shadow must be bit back but it is front good so what we do this select the first frame <coughs> and here ha uh, press q press q and this you can place here and extend this okay this is okay and now the other end here uh, what we do the same we copy copy frames the other end paste frames paste frames but it is there only with the shift the right arrow get down and place under the uh, foot under the foot okay suppose let us check uh, where it is exactly yeah this circle and here it is at uh, shoe yes so it must be maintain bit distance yes okay and now you can copy this frame copy and paste it here paste frames and remove the uh, classic twin okay and now come here control s now press control enter then check yes good very nice so along with your uh, the main run animation or shadow also animating this is nice okay right so control s <coughs> here i'm giving uh, the name for the text run progressive progressive animation and lock this lock this lock this and control s now control enter yes this is our uh, the final uh, uh, sorry run progressive uh, the two key poses are there actually here we changed this but other side also have to change copy frames the other side it must be the same yes control s now let us check control enter okay so very uh, beautiful progressive animation uh, but in the next class i'll explain uh, we'll add background on particular background <coughs> we had a 
the background of uh, light background music also well she running she listen the music and uh, she'll run across the background okay so plan yourself and do yourself and if you have any doubt please ask thank you